When I think of uh, working with EOS, I think about the ability to deliver something to customers and the ability to work with somebody who really cares about you being successful. We have lots of customers that have been successful with the variety of receivers that they have available. It really is a wonderful solution for capturing high accuracy data collection as well as a very full featured product that offered a number of other capabilities beyond just simple GNSS high accuracy data collection. And also, this is the first receiver on the market to fully support iOS platforms. It has universal Bluetooth to iOS, uh, Android, Windows, and Windows Mobile. So you can now get one centimeter accuracy directly into your iPhone or iPad receiver. The beauty about the Arrow 100 is, firstly, there is no subscription attached to it to get the submeter accuracy. You can easily connect it via Bluetooth to any mobile device. It's really lightweight and battery driven. And also, again, it's the submeter accuracy you get. Our real time network connections are now under three minutes uh, with the iPad Mini 4s and the Aero 200. Um, and that's something that, that I can't stress enough is the, the efficiency and, and having that three minute time has enabled our, our operations to be more open to collecting GPS points and they don't feel like they're wasting as much time standing in one location. For me, I get excited because Esri has software that's available to people that don't have to have PhDs in geography. And we have partners like EOS that make devices available at an affordable price. And now our small water systems and rural water systems have technology that they can use that isn't too difficult, that they can afford and get the same benefits as other utilities that have more resources and maybe bigger budgets than they do getting sub-inch real-time, no post-processing accuracy has now become a reality for everyone. By using the collector EOS and LTI offset routine, we're able to deliver this project on time and under budget. Working with, with Jan Eves and with the entire team at EOS, I realized it's like, wow, you know, the passion that you put uh, on the work that you do, but also the passion that you put on working with your customers. And that's something that to me is really important. So of course you have great products and they are unique in many other ways. But what really makes, to me personally, the difference, again, is your passion and commitment to work with customers to solve real problems. Hi, everyone. Thank you for clicking on this on-demand webcast from 2020 Esri UC Gold sponsor, EOS Positioning Systems. EOS is an award-winning Esri business partner and the Canadian manufacturer of the Aero Series GNSS receivers. I'm Emma Hardy with EOS, and today I'll walk you through a brief intro to GNSS and GPS, who EOS is, the types of GPS receivers, a few Esri exclusive new solutions we offer, and examples of customers successfully deploying submeter and centimeter accurate Esri Aero field solutions today. Stick around to the end of the video to learn how you can enter to win a free Aero 100 GNSS receiver during this conference. First, you might hear the words GPS and GNSS used interchangeably in this video. To explain the difference and connection between the terms, here's one of our partners, Esri Global Water Specialist, Krista Campbell. If you have an interest in collecting accurate location data, then you're familiar with the terms GPS and GNSS. The acronym GPS stands for Global Positioning System, which provides users with positioning, navigation, and timing services. You might not know that GPS is a US-owned utility that is developed, maintained, and operated by the US Air Force. The system consists of three segments, the space segment, the control segment, and the user segment. We are the users. We take advantage of receivers that provide accurate location for our assets. GNSS is an acronym for Global Navigation Satellite System. It's a general term describing any satellite constellation that provides positioning, navigation, timing services on a global or a regional basis. While GPS is the most prevalent GNSS, at least for us in the US, other nations do have their own satellite systems. For example, Beidou Navigation Satellite System in China, Galileo, which is owned by the European Union, the Russian Federation's GLONASS, you've probably heard of that one. The government of India owns a navigation satellite system as well as the government of Japan. The United States, uh, we developed cooperative relationships with these countries as well as others. 
And the purpose of these relationships is to encourage and to create compatibility and interoperability. Okay, so although GPS is used as a generic term, there's a difference between GPS and GNSS when you're talking about receivers. GNSS receivers are capable of using various navigation satellite systems, while GPS receivers can only use the navigation satellite system called the Global Positioning System. But be warned, in many cases, GPS is used to describe receivers that are not limited to the Global Positioning System. They'll connect to various satellite systems, and technically they're a GNSS, but GPS is used by many as a generic term. The industry doesn't always define the differences, so when you're choosing a receiver, check the specifications and ensure that you're purchasing what you need. Thanks for that explanation, Krista. Now let's go back to the beginning, to an important moment when GNSS technology became widely available to GIS users. In the pioneering days of GPS, the EOS technical team in Montreal built the world's first Bluetooth GNSS receiver that was capable of providing centimeter accuracy to any device, including iOS. The EOS Aero 200 was the first GNSS receiver on the market that could turn any iOS, Android, or Windows device into a survey-grade data collection tool with ArcGIS Collector. Today, customers around the world are using centimeter accuracy within Esri apps to build truly accurate digital twins, streamline asset management, digitize regulatory compliance, keep field crews safer and more productive, and many more uses. And now, EOS does much more than just manufacture GPS receivers. We're on a mission to bring state-of-the-art GNSS solutions that push the boundaries of mobile GIS and enable field workers of any background to adopt the most cutting edge GNSS technology on the market. The EOS Aero series comprises four models of Bluetooth enabled GNSS receivers that provide submeter to centimeter level accuracy on any smartphone, tablet, or computer. All Aero receivers are rugged, waterproof down to 30 centimeters deep for up to 30 minutes, and equipped with all day batteries. The batteries are field replaceable and last anywhere from 8 to 16 hours, depending on usage and model. EOS also offers a free GNSS monitoring app called EOS Tools Pro, available on iOS, Android, and, new this year, Windows. Within this app, you can run audible alarms such as to set a threshold accuracy level, connect to an RTK network, and much more, all in the background of your Esri apps. In 2016, Esri released Collector 10.4, the very first Esri app to support GNSS metadata from Aero receivers. Esri came out with a field mobile application called Collector for ArcGIS, which uses the internet. So you can use it on your cell phone, your tablet, whatever you want, and it's live. All goes to the maps, and people at the office can see the work being completed live in real time, which is fantastic. With the new workflow that they have, simply by using Collector for ArcGIS, they were able to increase their productivity by 6,300%. And they were able to inventory 250,000 trees. So they have a map of every single species, of every single tree, knowing the level of infestation that has happened. And that helps men make decisions. Which tree do I cut this year? Because they don't want to cut all of them at once. The city of Montreal was able to go from 500 trees treated in 2011 to 32,000 trees in 2017. Today, in addition to ArcGIS Collector, both ArcGIS Survey123 and ArcGIS Quick Capture also support Aero GNSS location data. With Survey123, users collect form-based information, and with Quick Capture, they collect survey grade data from every type of moving vehicle at up to 20 positions, or hertz, per second. EOS Aero receivers are the first GNSS receiver to be fully compatible with all three of these Esri data collection apps across all three mobile platforms. Because of this, everyone from local governments, utilities, and AEC firms, to farmers, foresters, and drone operators have gotten creative with Aero GPS and ArcGIS apps in the field. Along with providing a deeply integrated experience with Esri mobile apps, EOS is constantly innovating, listening to customer needs, and building cutting-edge solutions available exclusively to users of ArcGIS apps. 
In 2018, EOS released the world's first laser mapping solution for ArcGIS Collector, in conjunction with our partnership between Esri and Laser Technology Inc., also known as LTI. It's a laser mapping system for total station-like applications for GIS, bringing survey type of measurements with laser mapping into, in this case, it is with Esri Collector running on iOS. With this setup of laser mapping, users can map assets that are either too far to reach, dangerous to occupy, or in GNSS denied environments where, for example, there's a lot of obstructions, we cannot get the accuracy that's needed, they can shoot the targets and the assets from far away, keeping the accuracy. Whether it's for forestry applications or valves of a road, many applications for laser mapping. Or, in some cases, maybe your irrigation valve is in the middle of a lion's den. That's what happened at Woodland Park Zoo in Seattle, Washington. Lead gardener Dan Block used laser mapping with an EOS Aero 100, iPhone, and collector to capture assets without having to disrupt animal environments. Let's hear from Dan himself at his presentation at last year's Esri UC. So my project was essentially to build a base map for the zoo that captured the past, our present, and will grow with us in the future. And some of the big challenges we have with that is our tree canopy. It is a 120-year-old park. We have some very large mature trees. And that presents a challenge for accuracy of uh, finding our satellites. And also, we've got a lot of exotic animals. Uh, many are dangerous. So just getting into those areas and collecting data is a big challenge. When I first started this project, there was no uh, laser offset technology that could pair uh, with the devices that I had. Um, luckily, I spoke with EOS, and you know they come up, they came up with a solution to work with uh, the True Pulse 200X, which works with the uh, iPhone products. So I was able to, to uh, find a solution for uh, laser offsets, uh, which was really important for getting this project going. I was kind of stuck in some of our areas of dense canopy cover. I wasn't getting good. Uh, Good location data. I'm hoping to have all the facilities um, and horticulture team have access to these maps on their mobile devices. And then, um, you know, the animals not being disrupted, which is a big plus. Eventually, I would like to have a public garden map put together with actual more in, uh, information on the plants that we do have at the zoo. In 2018, EOS released another first for Esri users, the option to capture real-time orthometric heights directly in your Esri apps. A lot of our users wanted to have accurate orthometric height and that's exactly what EOS decided to do. Uh, bring this type of elevation accuracy normally reserved for the survey industry, bring it up into the GIS community. With real-time orthometric heights available on apps like Collector, GIS teams are no longer limited to collecting ellipsoidal height Z values in the field and later post-processing to orthometric heights in the office. For customers managing 3D data in ArcGIS Pro, preparing to use the Esri Utility Network, eyeing augmented reality for futuristic fieldwork environments, and more, having accurate z-value is critical. Our CEO is adamant about accuracy, and one of the big things for him is elevation. And I'm um, happy to say that the EOS, uh, we can get a centimeter accuracy or less on the vertical as well as on the horizontal. In October 2019, EOS also released the world's first real-time underground asset mapping solution for ArcGIS Collector. EOS Locate for ArcGIS Collector allows a single field worker to locate and map a buried asset and send all of its GNSS location data and locator metadata, such as depth below cover, directly into ArcGIS Online via Collector. All he or she needs is an EOS Arrow GNSS receiver, Collector, an iPad or iPhone, and a compatible locator device.
EOS is excited to announce at this year's conference the support of additional locator brands, including Vivax Metrotech, Subsite, and Radio Detection Locator models. Visit our virtual booth in the UC Exhibitor area to learn more. Because of EOS's passion for bringing advanced GNSS technologies to the GIS community, Aero GNSS receivers have gotten a lot of attention and buzz. But we owe all of that to our customers, who teach us every day about their worlds. By coming to visit our team at events like this one, by forming lasting, rich relationships with our technical support team, and by daring to ask us, what if we could do this? Or that? It's questions like those and exciting ideas like, could this be possible? That pushes EOS to push the boundaries of GPS. From our office in Montreal, where each aero receiver is handcrafted, to cities like yours all over the world, and virtually to events like this Esri UC, EOS is here to support you. So we encourage you to visit our booth this year at the Esri UC. We mentioned at the beginning of the video that one lucky attendee will win an Aero 100 GNSS receiver. You can find the form and enter to win by visiting our virtual booth, meeting with an authorized EOS representative during the event, and filling out a form after your meeting. Please note some exclusions apply. Be sure to check out additional resources in our virtual booth, including more videos and success stories while you're there. Thanks again for tuning in, and we hope you have a wonderful rest of the UC.